it's a series of, uh, of uh, blacksmithing and, uh, and horseshoeing classes. Uh, we started with uh, some forging classes last night where they had to make three different types of shoes. And today behind me, there uh, some of the guys are making shoes and some of the guys are shoeing horses. The World Blacksmith Competition attracts the best horseshoe makers from around the world. Now this process, which seems difficult, actually isn't that bad. Making a horseshoe is, is really quite simple. It just involves uh, you know, good concentration. You start with uh, just steel, flat stock, and uh, heat it up. And uh, depending on the steel, it would, or the shoe that you're making, would depend on, on the steps involved. But it's, uh, you know, you, numerous heats, because uh, you, can't, you can't do anything with cold steel. So uh, it's interesting. Three, two, one, tool down. This year, the competition is celebrating its 35th anniversary at the Calgary Stampede. Over those three plus decades, it's become one of the most recognized events in the entire world. Our ability to, to uh, attract competitors from all over the world, uh, and it's grown from a small little uh, contest in the outdoor show ring to, uh, to a big, a, a big world, a world renowned competition. You know what they say, all great things must come to an end. And sadly, this year marks the final blacksmith competition at the Stampede. To celebrate that, the committee is offering quite the prize to the winner. In the past, we've uh, traditionally given away $10,000 cash. This year, because it's the 35th anniversary and it's the last year we're doing it, we've, uh, we've got one of our committee members to handcraft a solid gold hammer. And for the competitors, that's the perfect way to end this competition. Oh, it's, it's everything to these guys. Uh, it's not about the cash, it's about the prize. It's about the recognition they're gonna get when they go back home. For Saddle Up, I'm Dan Clovis.